Okay, hello guys. Um, welcome guys. Um, this is review night, uh, week five of the North American Online League. We have three games coming up. Uh, let's take a look at the first one. It's uh, John versus Monstra Alex. Um, two one done OGS players. If you guys are uh, familiar with OGS, OGS is probably one of the strongest um, uh, ranking systems. Uh, OGS um, one dies are probably um, quite a bit stronger than uh, AGA one dies, for example. Um, okay, um, okay, we, we begin here. Um, okay, so today, um, my focus today is on uh, uh, in the later half of the game, um, trying to apply and use our thickness to our greatest advantage. Um, okay, so here um, White has played this turn, so another Joseki is for White to um, Atari here, and then I'm sure uh, Black is planning to uh, press and then um, make a little bit of a base here. Uh, when White turns over here, um, Black makes a turn as well. Next, uh, Black is looking, um, if Black blocks, then White is looking to Atari on this side. Uh, this way, White's RG is a little bit less um, less felt. So, um, okay, very reasonable. Uh, both sides. White is trying to get more than more than um, uh, the Joseki in terms of territory, and Black is trying to keep Sente. Um, okay, so so in order for White to get more territory, White Hanes this threatens to capture four stones. Black Ataris makes a lot of sense. And the next move should be this uh, jump. Okay, great. And this cut. Okay, this is a very, very strong cut. Um, this is happening while the corner has some issues. Um, for example, uh, like this, uh, where this corner is a code to live. So um, uh, this cut is a very, very strong cut. Um, uh, now, uh, if black has to connect this um, protect against uh, this double Atari. Um, you know this, um, this. This is fine, but uh, the worry is um, maybe Black takes this time. You know, fights. Um, you know, now the corner is a code to to live, um, or uh, it's either code or it has many liberties, and then um, uh, White is also not alive. This is quite complicated. Uh, let's see what happened in the game. In the game, black um, extends. This is relatively safe, um, all good. White Atari is here. Okay, um, so th so now this opens up um, the corner RG as we have uh, just discussed. And here comes black trying to take advantage of this. Um, okay, this is exactly the diagram we played. This is a code to live in the corner. Uh, this should be um, heavily black favored. Um, if white wins the code, uh, white gets um, maybe 10 more points than the um, regular Joseki. Um, and if black wins the code, black gets uh, tremendously a lot more. So, okay, let's see. Um, uh, when we fight this code, um, this is um, a very, very common um, um, very, very common uh, losing co-thread or um, a co-thread that loses a couple points, three, four points. And uh, of course, if we have other threats, we never want to make uh, this kind of a thing, um, losing co-thread. Um, so if, for example, this honey is uh, a co-thread, then we don't want to, you know, the honey doesn't lose that much. Uh, this cut loses um, loses quite a lot. So, um, okay, refrain from this kind of co threads. However, white may not have, um, you know, that honey in the corner may not be a may not be deemed a co thread. Um, so white is really, um, um, uh, you know, at a disadvantage now. Okay, this honey is a co. Okay. Right now, if white finishes the co black place here, and uh, overall, even though white has a very strong position in the lower right with a lot of territory, white just has this one region 
uh, and uh, the black group because of the previous code thread giving black a um, uh, an eye for sure uh, makes this group relatively strong, relatively safe. So, is it, so this is a case where you know white captured seven or eight black stones, but uh, despite that, overall in this on this board, black is going to be um, relatively stronger on the board overall. So, um, yeah, this this uh, probably favors black as well. Um, however, um, if white, as the game happened, white answers, uh, where is white's closer at? So, um, white Atari's um, this stone, this is similar to the Hane. Okay, so black answered, white captured here, black captured here. Um, so probably uh, white, white likely needs to um, um, keep fighting this coal um, if. Uh, if black um, captures here, then it's as if black played a um, honey connect. Um, certainly doesn't damage white all that much. So um, probably black's um, chance here is to uh, end the call, capture this corner, and then um, either play here um, or crawl, probably play here, um, threaten to connect, and then um, look to invade on the right hand side. The right hand side, um, given how the corner is now, is going to be very, very, um, um, you know, black has tremendous thickness here. Um, okay, so, um, okay. So in the game, white captured and black captured here. So um, on the right hand side, the same thing has happened. and. Also, black got this exchange, which makes the corner alive. Uh, so this is very, very good for black now. Hane, uh, don't connect. Um, um, if black connects, this move could be um, could uh, you know black is not alive locally. For white to just turn, black is alive like this. That's why white um, hane on the corner. So make sure you crawl right now. Perfect. And um, white honey, so this is committing to keep black from uh, from living. Uh, very, very uh, strong play. Um, another play would be to cut and then, um, um, you know, use the RG in the middle. Um, right now, white has a panuki shape on the bottom, so probably this is not, um, not advised. Uh, white is very safe and has thickness on the bottom. Um, so here you guys can uh, you know see some of the um, ideas about the main topic of today using thickness in the middle to later game. White has thickness here and white is using it. Normally white would be extending now because of the thickness white is playing an especially strong move of um, honey. Okay, uh, the squeeze white plays here. Now black can live by playing like this with a sente at a7, but probably um, black um, would rather not uh, not live and then would rather cut. Again, this is um, now black can still live in the corner, and despite that, black is likely um, black wants to Atari on the outside. If white captures, uh, this keeps black from being alive, but black has many liberties. Um, there's these um, sente moves on the outside, and then um, uh, just an Atari is hard to deal with. And um, just something like this. Um, 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 the, yeah, okay. Um, so in the game, black uh, uh, cut. This is very strong, but um, remember, white has Ponuki here, so. White's um, corner shape, lower side shape, is very, very strong. Uh, this, um, this allows white to use this strength uh, very much. OK, so black puts on the brakes and, um, and um, just exchanges with these Atari. So, so very good job for black putting on the brakes. Um, slightly better would be uh, to just peep. Uh, white, if white connects, um, um, uh, this is normal, and if white plays here, this tiger's mouse, now black can still play this sente um, without making the throw in. 
right? In the game, it's like this throw in. Um, okay. Um, okay, so, uh, but the key point now is to play this D9 turn, turn Atari. Um, ah, so, so black, um, um, so if black Atari is now white has a difficult time between um, capturing or connecting. If white connects, then black gets everything that he wanted, and um, all is good. Um, if white captures, then some kind of a co occurs here. Um, if white loses a co, then again black gets most of what black wanted. Um, Okay, uh, the game is also a, a, a good idea. Uh, make sure we play here. Um, this way, um, uh, it may be a little bit better points-wise, but more importantly, it squeezes, um, um, takes away one of White's liberties, which, uh, which will help a lot. Just uh, for example, um, if something like this co happens, Black can capture. So this is the uh, liberty coming into play. Um, OK, so um, white gets this jump. Um, so despite losing the lower right corner co, at least in this location, white has the upper hand uh, in the fighting. Uh, now, um, because white has uh, thickness on the bottom, it, um, I advise black to not save these stones, and instead, um, play in the area of the board where black does have the thickness advantage, which is the right-hand side. Um, just um, having this uh, T4 stone also helps a lot. Um, just, you know, having some kind of a center here. Um, invade here is a good idea. Um, just um, here, this, uh, you know, if white tries to totally uh, capture us, because uh, black has thickness in the corner, um, all the stuff that white, um, all the stones that white place near the corner doesn't actually threaten black and is actually gote. Um, and um, something like this. And, and you can see that pretty, pretty quickly black is really, really winning this fight now. Um, and if, even if black is not able to break out, having this move in sente, this move in sente, you know, this kind of a move, um, it's going to significant, make it very, very um, uh, likely that black can secure life, at least. So this invasion, uh, it takes away all the white potential territory on the right-hand side, so it's, it's very big already. And secondly, um, it looks to attack and exploit the uh, white weaknesses with all these uh, peeps. Um, so recommend the right-hand side. Um, okay, this top is a defensive move. Again, uh, both of these, uh, Black has had uh, shown the right ideas here. Black does not um, save the four stones, uh, does not fight in the location where um, it is, um, you know, his opponent is stronger. If he uh, place here, uh, takes territory. Um, very, very good. Very, very well done. Um, OK, uh, this is a common invasion point. The San San after the, um, against, uh, with a uh, E17 approach. Um, and black extends this, reverts to the uh, shape where um, black's star point approach, knight's move, and the white plays the San San next. Okay, so this um, this is a well-known Joseki. Um, here, um, two Josekis, one is like this, and then white may or may not cut. Um, white does need a move here. Another Joseki is to press, and then um, um, we can finish the Joseki by playing here. Um, um, sealing white in makes some thickness, or um, we can Tanuki at this point. Uh, next move for white is to Hane, but with black Hanes, there is no double Hane, just to be careful. Um, the next move for white is to extend here. So um, due to white having the relative strength advantage on the lower left corner um, here with a Panuki on the side, Panuki on the bottom side, 
probably black doesn't want to spend too many moves in this area. And so this uh, press is recommended. Again, um, go to go fight where uh, we have where black has the advantage on the right hand side. Okay, so okay, so so this is indeed what happened. So um, um, very good, very good find by black. Um, sometimes uh, another thing t with these kinds of evasions is um, very often it is better to go reduce very shallowly or to go in very very deeply um, going in like this in the you know sort of uh, deep and not deep or medium deep is often not very good um, so here we can uh, imagine this kind of a response by white and then um, a double honey. Um, this, this, this makes it a bit harder for black to make a very efficient shape. And if, um, so, so this is um, potentially um, an issue. I would have liked uh, black to go in, you know, go deep, uh, you know, go big or go home kind of an idea. Uh, but uh, this is absolutely in the right direction. So this is um, it's hard for for white to respond to this. Um, okay. Ah. Uh, white honey here is a very good thing. So this is white giving up on capturing black. Um, yeah, wow, white is cutting black up. How is he giving up on capturing? Um, if white wants to capture the um, the move is on the outside like this, um, obviously white is afraid of this peep and then this uh, peep and then you know white has to spend another move on the outside. Black lives very very comfortably. So um, perhaps um, before making that attach, if black was able to make these peeps uh, first, um, maybe uh, maybe it would maybe it would be um, easier. Um, in the game when this happened, uh, this uh, because we can't honey, we basically we have to extend and then uh, potentially we run into this problem where the sente that black um, um, was relying on to, um, uh, you know, the sente to um, uh, agi of the one stone that Black was relying on actually does not become sente, and um, this way Black is gonna lose everything. So unfortunately, yeah. So so, uh, yeah, pro uh, yeah. This is a very very good response by White. Um, so now Black, if Black turns, uh, and this indeed happened, um, this is threatening to um, Honey here. Let me play this one. Um, so, um, so white place here, yeah. And this, this, um, this invasion has been parried um, expertly by white. Um, um, so white has kept at least um, the majority of white's territory on the side. Um, so very good job by white. Again, I remember going in, um, go deep or go deep or go home is the invasions. Um, Okay, um, this one, um, okay, again, uh, yeah, black does a very good job, you know, capturing this middle stone would be really um, small. Um, okay, so very good job by black saving these two stones. If, um, if anything, black uh, makes some side territory and solidifies the corner territory, so, um, so good for black. Um, this um, for white to attempt this capture, the sente of a of the extend must be played beforehand to to get white some more liberties. If um, if if white can get even more liberties like this, then it's even better. Um, and then play this honey, and then uh, there's no way for black to uh, to counter attack. Uh, but if white just honeys, this runs into the um, double ladder. This one, yeah, yeah, this is exactly the game. And so this is, um, yeah, black does a very good job recovering. Um, so like, so if this has, if this happens, um, you know, black's corner um, 
made you know black made great gains in the corner so um, yeah well played by black here um, this is a big mistake by white okay and so um, in the game black captured these two stones and white even though white is able to capture one white isn't able to break into the corner and um, given that white isn't able to break into the corner black's thickness um, after having captured the two stones in the middle is going to be very very useful now uh, white is going to find that from now on um, at least the next 10 white moves are all going to um, not not surround any territory and every move that black makes is going to surround the territory um, okay so here a uh, black goes for the capture um, okay and uh, yeah it's um, uh, let's see if uh, white is able to survive here uh, white is able to survive here uh, which is good uh, good for white um, but as you guys can see it was quite quite dangerous if black had connected here and uh, just played uh, this way um, it's hard to imagine why uh, you know white is really gonna be uh, struggling another move is uh, if we if we can't commit to this cut this is what um, black was afraid of this co uh, then it um, just um, you know making a connect would also be okay playing this way um, okay yeah yeah committed to the capture but um, uh, black was not able to capture white okay so the, so now the game uh, lengthens out again um, uh, this is why uh, white is able to push and cut this is why uh, when black had a um, sente um, having this press uh, is sometimes good okay and this is a very nice move it's threatening to push through here um, okay this is this is what's gonna happen in the game um, I see I see um, now is a good time to save the middle this is much more comfortable than before however the uh, important area is the top so um, we can make um, you know is this all makes sense black was thinking white was gonna play here or here black was gonna play um, some presses in sente um, so we have very good idea but black doesn't follow through with the threat um, okay so now um, um, okay uh, white has gained a bit here uh, however blacks uh, main overall territory on the top uh, still uh, looms um, okay this is um, this is uh, a good idea by black to surround a big center uh, don't save the five stones now make sure to honey at g9 okay okay um, yeah this this uh, this game has been expertly uh, played by black um, to this point um, yeah um, white survives here but uh, loses two stones so the amount of territory lost is probably um, big um, okay so um, ever since the middle game has started uh, black used um, uh, from this invasion black used the stronger um, position here including you know the the top hand side being strong this is using strengths and uh, black used it very very well to invade white's um, territory here um, could be slightly improved uh, area uh, exact location of the invasion but um, uh, still um, um, the the um, game result was even though white kept some territory black was still able to um, gain huge um, capturing two stones now black has true thickness and um, black used it to attack which is a very good idea here um, uh, probably black needs to use the thickness to um, you know keep some territory and continue on the attack uh, but um, the game was also um, 
OK, uh, White did a very, very good job of making this group alive. So props to White here. Um, and here we see um, um, another very good use of the um, uh, Aji by Black. And then here, here, here. Uh, now Black um, uses takes a lot of sente moves and naturally surrounds a very, very big middle. So um, I'm sure Black is very proud of the way uh, that this game has gone so far. And here we will see um, a very um, important thing with regards to thickness, which is um, you don't want to uh, make your thickness overly redundant. And so if black continues to surround the middle, that would be doing this. Um, it would not be very, very big, just you, um, um, you know, just some additional territory. The bulk of the territory has already been secured. So um, black switches and um, cashes in his advantage on the lower side. Um, here, white made a mistake here. Just so just living like this or this would be superior. And um, for black, um, probably this extent back would be better. Um, OK. Um, yeah, this is a good opportunity for white to use um, the thickness of having captured the five stones and the Spanuki to uh, destroy black's bottom territory and make black play around here near the white strengths, uh, in which case black isn't making any territory on the bottom. So um, this was white's opportunity to cash in some thickness in the form of um, uh, making a dead group alive. So this was probably white's um, last mistake. Um, and here, um, um, Black has a very, very strong, uh, overwhelmingly strong uh, position. Um, here, um, play here, that would be using the strengths in the middle um, through fighting. And just remember, the next Atari is Sente for Black. So, um, white base, um, so white basically has to play this Atari, and then um, um, there's no way that white can survive against the um, strong wall. So this is another uh, um, another way to use thickness, which is in the end game, you're able to play um, a very strong, very full uh, moves like, like this one. OK. Um, in the game, um, in the game, um, uh, black gives up a few points um, and then plays here. Um, this is um, this is relatively, um, you know, like Black is thinking, I'm winning the game, so I'm uh, just going to surround this territory and the game will be over, uh, which he is correct in doing this. And uh, here's a, um, here is another case of um, using thickness. Um, and this is just, um, um, this way is using thickness by not using thickness using thickness by not using it, which means uh, when white plays here uh, in the middle here, black doesn't play anywhere near this. Black takes uh, the endgame move, and um, he uses it to Tanuki. He uses thickness to Tanuki, which is probably the strongest way to use thickness, which is very good. Um, same way, um, white can also use the thickness here to Tanuki and to play somewhere big. So for example, right now, uh, maybe play here, maybe play other end games. Uh, but um, yeah, like uh, this end game, it turned out to be a very big end game, like here. Um, so here, uh, there, this is um, this problem happened in White's shape, uh, White's territory, where um, if um, uh, this way White is dead, so. This uh, end game turned out to be very big. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So uh, good job by, um, especially by Black in this game. Um, even though White did a very good job dealing with this invasion, uh, the lack of the extra sente moves here 
really hurt white in terms of um, um, just uh, losing these stones, uh, losing either the two middle stones or the three stones. This kind of sealed the game in, uh, in black's favor. Um, and here, um, capturing this coal, probably uh, capturing this stone and giving up the coal was probably um, white's uh, bane. Um, okay, um, uh, generally a very high level game, um, so uh, both players should be um, uh, proud. Proud. Okay, let's go on to the next game. Uh, this this is um, uh, two uh, OGS one Qs. Okay, let's take a look and remember today's um, theme is using thickness in the middle to later half of the game. Um, okay. By the way, um, 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 uh, Jonathan Bus, the player from this one, John, his uh, Twitch stream is called Struggle Bus Go, one of the Struggle Bus Go, one of the most charismatic um, stream um, channel channel titles I've ever come across. <laughs> so uh, check him out on Twitch. Um, Jonathan seems um, at one done on OGS is a lot stronger than I uh, remembered or expected um, beforehand. So uh, tremendously good. Uh, this game, uh, this is our organizer, Milan, um, Milan, uh, 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 Milan here is our uh, NAOL organizer. Um, okay, okay, uh, shout out. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. make sure you guys uh, give Milan a thank you to uh, for for organizing the North American Online League. Um, um, Okay, enough said. Uh, okay, uh, usually, um, usually, at a, usually, uh, black prefers to approach the three four that faces um, uh, faces black stones, but um, both are probably equivalent. Um, okay, this completes the joseki. Uh, uh, generally, we like to see a enclosure of the joseki, but in this game, white is more ambitious. Um, I am almost always for more ambition, so um, we will we will second this move. Um, just uh, in the um, along the same lines as our theme of today, using thickness. Um, here, um, uh, the next move here is very big because it makes Black's corner relatively weak. Um, this top. Um, we can see white's corner as a very strong group, which which is um, both literally and ideologically and uh, figuratively um, thickness. This corner is thickness. So uh, when black plays here, white uses this thickness by tanukiing and playing elsewhere. That that is more important. Um, so this is a very, very important use of thickness and um, a very good job by white of, um, you know, not responding on the top left corner. Okay, good. Uh, black invades. Makes sense. Okay. Now, uh, so this corner, uh, this Joseki uh, before AI used to be a human Joseki. Um, generally known as slightly good for uh, for white for the corner side, uh, but after AI came out, people really learned how much um, um, how much um, how much uh, exactly um, um, you know this is good for white, but it was more than expected, and the reasoning is. Um, the reasoning is white corner is a lot stronger than expected, and you absolutely want to use this corner as thickness. And how do you use it? How do you use thickness? You don't add to it, or if you do, you add minimal to it, and uh, you play um, as much to the outside of it as possible. Uh, by the way, guys, um, 
uh, Jonathan Bus may or may not be the uh, Twitch streamer Struggle Bus Go. Um, um, I may have gotten that mixed up, but anyways, uh, uh, don't worry. Uh, um, yeah, it's still good to check out that uh, Twitch stream. Um, I, I may have gotten that wrong. Uh, okay. Uh, anyways. Um, back to, back on topic, uh, the important thing is you gotta realize as white that your corner is very, very strong. And so uh, using strength uh, means that you want to place many, many moves on the outside. Maybe play this one move, but your main focus should be to make your opponent um, um, make your opponent play many moves in the area and for white to save as much as possible here. Um, so first move okay second move probably um, um, would recommend playing here um, or playing here where you you want your opponent to make these uh, turning moves uh, where you can tanuki and so when he atarries we live here or when he plays here uh, we live here but of course um, playing one more and making you're making yourself totally, totally strong is is also a good idea. But uh, for sure, the next move, you definitely want to be blocking on the outside as much as possible. And uh, for black, because um, you're recognizing the corner as thickness, you don't want to play this turn anymore because, uh, or if you play this turn and white squeezes, you don't want to play e much more here. Uh, because you are not going to be threatening the corner. Um, and instead, um, you want to be just, um, you know, playing somewhere else that's very, very big. In this case, taking care of your group on the outside. So in the game Black Blocks, uh, it is a good time for White to make this peep and then uh, move out, something like this. Let's see. Uh, so in the game, White jumps, which is very, very similar. So a very good job by White here, um, you know, not making that extra squeeze. Um, um, okay. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Um, good. And so some fighting occurs here. Um, it's very. It would be very nice for White to get this peep. So. You know, get it sooner than later. Um, so here, waits ten new keys and evades the top. And uh, this um, uh, strikes us as a little bit odd because uh, white's bottom isn't very settled, isn't very secured, and black's group also isn't very secured, as uh, is this left side black group and the white group. So. Um, when white and black plays somewhere around here, it has both a, a double whammy effect of um, strengthening white and at the same time also weakening black. Like for example, if this sequence happens, this strengthens the bottom and cuts black. And um, 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 so this is very, very urgent. Um, so that's why uh, leaving this area right now seems a little bit odd to us. Um, exactly how to attack is a, a, another point. Um, like uh, this kind of a cut could be a um, double-edged, uh, double-edged position. Um, but um, um, you know, this kind of a squeeze, for example, is going to be um, weakening black, strengthening white, and weakening this black group. So this also seems pretty urgent. Of course, another thing to do is to evade and attack the left-hand side. This this seems like it's um, a total free game because black is going to run out, and um, you know white is uh, making a little bit um, of territory and maybe capturing one stone while black is running out. So, okay. So in the game, black makes this press. White makes one tanuki. Okay. Uh, white strengthens the bottom. Now, if white is on the of the mindset to strengthen the bottom, then um, this peep absolutely helpful. 
Another kind of a, a peep would be around here. Um, you, you know, even if we're just playing this cut, um, even um, even if we want to just um, protect the sente, that's that's uh, that's one way to do it. Um, another way to do it is to um, um, you know try to use black's weaknesses in order to protect our weakness in sente. Um, okay. Ah, uh, this Atari uh, ran into a tanuki uh, because this corner. Um, because black lost a stone at the sandstone point, where black has both c3, uh, c, uh, b3, and c2, um, the honey isn't sente anymore. So it's not super necessary for white to get the satire in. Um, and white can safely block. Um, so this is, again, another point of why this Joseki is now considered so um, Relative, uh, significantly better for white, for the corner player. Um, okay, uh, so in the game, um, um, black was able to destroy some of white's ice space, um, but um, probably what black really wants to do now is to play uh, this cut. Unfortunately, the cut doesn't work right away, so uh, maybe. Um, Maybe we play this peep first, and if white protects this, then we cut. And this way, not only do we destroy all of white's ice space, black also gains ice space by capturing a stone. And again, this significantly um, changes the balance of power, or you know, the balance of balance of power in this area. Um, so here uh, in the game, uh, even though black was able to destroy white's ice space, black didn't make any himself, and also white has this kind of a sente, this sente, these sentes. White still kept some ice space, uh, therefore this is significantly uh, better for white now. Um, so, um, uh, so here this here black showed some very very good. Um, um, flex flexibility in thinking. Um, so black is taking away white's eye space, but he doesn't continue with the project. He um, he realizes that white is a lot stronger than he felt, so he um, um, you know um, makes a 180 degree turn and seals white in on the outside, um, likely allowing white to live here, but. Also, black is strengthening himself in Sente. Okay, so this is indeed what happened, and the black comes back to the top. Um, here, um, this move, um, not the turn anymore, but this jump now, surrounding some points on the left hand side, is ex extremely big. Um, um, this um, strengthens the black group and makes territory with it, and um, attacks the white group. So um, this is a, absolutely a huge point. Okay, in the game, uh, black plays more aggressively. However, uh, by being aggressive and um, um, uh, enclosing white, it allows white to squeeze in sente, and uh, and then uh, maybe go into the side and make. Uh, you know, not only does white destroy all of this uh, black uh, potential, uh, but also uh, white can now look to counterattack against this group and against the bottom if white is able to just cut like this. So, um, for a variety of um, good reasons, this um, um, this jump um, connecting the two sides was especially huge at black going for the capture or going for the surround um, kind of missed an opportunity or um, uh, or the opposite of missing an opportunity um, um, you know giving giving the opponent an opportunity uh, remember the uh, best capturing technique or attacking technique is to attack by fixing the weakest parts of your surrounding stones. Uh, in other words, fix the weak parts of the net before you throw the net over your opponent. 
Um, um, because if your opponent breaks through the net, he is capturing and cutting and attacking his way out. Um, so first, um, it's much more important to strengthen the net first so that it is not breakable. It is not so urgent to um, to net the other player um, to um, to close off um, on the opponent. So black is going to pay for not getting the order right. Um, and so here we can see that uh, white now has a backdoor home and white can, if white just plays on the, um, on the side here, white is going to be able to somewhat um, capture, you know, for sure white can capture some stones um, in a variety of ways. Um, okay, so in the game uh, white um, um, takes sente, take white assesses that the group is taken care of already and uh, takes care of the top, place on the top. So, um, okay, very good use of um, having a relatively strong position now. And white is clearly now winning this middle fight. So uh, beforehand, black did a very good job making a 180 degree turnaround, giving up on capturing white. But then uh, he, but then here, um, G11 goes for the seal off and again um, throws the initiative of the game back over to white. So for example here, white cuts this black group off and black has to try to make um, make a living here on the side. Um, again, this um, allows white the first move advantage in the middle. And white chooses to attack. Um, here, um, another another thing that White can do is to extend attack this way uh, in a manner of protecting your yourself at the same time, um, because um, if White ha if White does not harbor any intention of capturing the left hand side black group, then all the moves in the middle here, um, all the moves here are relatively meaningless in terms of making high space. So um, the uh, outside um, uh, with the two, two white stones on the top is much more important. Okay, so in the game black does push up and now white um, defends, now, now white has to defend the top. And so here we can see that uh, white's move at h14, um, you know, is it is not accomplishing much for white now. Much better to um, attack at the same time um, um, as you are strengthening yourself. So here, um, here is the uh, the important thing is to try to extend one more. And if black um, blocks, then this kind of play is very powerful. Obviously, uh, this is white's ideal uh, ideal situation. Uh, white is afraid of black um, um, playing this Atari and then um, extend, uh, um, you know, maybe playing one more and then uh, going for the uh, the top side group. So uh, very unfortunate. Uh, another thing, if white was worried, another thing to do could be to play here. And if black connects, then um, we take some profit in the form of um, ice space on the top, uh, but this is not, you know, this is not your first, um, uh, this is not your ideal situation. Um, so with that said, uh, probably white's best bet is to extend strengthen yourself at the same time as uh, you're pressing black. If you're, if white is able to get, um, yeah, uh, unfortunately uh, this is, this is black surrounding a very full corner, and this is sort of white's uh, white is paying a a price for um, attacking at h fourteen instead of um, you know uh, strengthening ourselves before. Okay, so in the game um, um, here, uh, black makes a big mistake. Um, this capture in a clean manner is almost always preferred. In this case, um, because black extends, this Atari becomes, um, um, uh, it adds a stone here for white, and um, 
it's absolutely centered for weight so as well. So, um, um, so, so again, much better to capture cleanly. Um, even if there is a code, it's almost always better to capture clean. And in this case, there is no code because of the wraparound. So, um, all the, uh, so this, this shape should be like this, where white does not have this stone here. But in the game, uh, the shape is like this, where white can just Atari, uh, white can play this Atari for free. And this will help and uh, greatly strengthen uh, White's position. Okay. Um, okay. So this is some end game moves, and um, we have come to the end game stages. Um, and here, um, Black um, has a lot of strengths in the middle. Um, this move is basically sente, so the, so the top is also very strong. Um, here, um, it is very, very important to use thickness in the most efficient manner. And uh, you use thickness by, um, you know, if you can attack something with it, it'll be great. If you, um, um, you know, uh, so something, something like this would be great. Uh, you keep white from being alive, um, and you want white to run towards your uh, your strengths. You want white to be making all these moves uh, because white isn't surrounding any territory in the center. And by taking away territory in the center, white does not threaten black. That's the meaning of thickness, and that's how black is going to use uh, the middle thickness to the greatest extent. In the game, black presses white, which pushes white away from the thickness and allows white to, uh, you know, while white lives, white also takes a lot of territory. And now uh, black is committing the um, the cardinal sin, cardinal sin, sin of go, which is surrounding territory with thickness in the middle here. And it's not going to be worth it. Um, ah. Okay, it looks like black surrounded a lot of territory, but um, and it looks like white didn't surround a lot of territory. Uh, but um, this is a classically the case where um, because black had thickness, black should have uh, it should have been like an 80-20 split, but the game was a 60-40 split. And um, um, as you guys know, in Go. It's very, very realistic. So if you only get 60-40 on, um, on what should be an 80-20 split, then you end up falling behind and, um, and uh, losing the game. So here, um, uh, the top has been cut off by white. Um, uh, here, it's important for white to play the precise move connect so that um, there's two cuts here, but neither, you know, black can only get one of them. Um, in the game white played here, this allows black to play this one and, um, and survive. Still probably doesn't win, uh, but at least this is a huge, huge um, gain for black. Um, well, it was a big loss for black having lost the top, but um, this way black can get the loss back. OK, so the game ended when white played this connect Atari. Um, OK, I think ni maybe neither side saw that um, the middle could be saved by this turn. Um, um, but in any case, um, when black turns um, and then uh, the black is going to, uh, let's say black connects. Black was still losing the game um, this um, like this, but um, um, OK, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so, so in this game, the it was very, very close throughout the game. So it's a very exciting game. However, um, 
in this critical juncture, juncture um, when black had a slight advantage, uh, black made the huge mistake of um, pushing from the, the cardinal sin, sin of go uh, surrounding territory with thickness. And um, uh, after a sequence here, um, um, even though uh, even though black was able to find a uh, problem in white's shape and capture two stones, um, uh, the overall result was still very good for white. So uh, sad for black, uh, but um, uh, when you commit the cardinal sin of go, um, you know, usually, um, usually you uh, pay for it. Okay, uh, good game. Overall, this was very tight, and I have to say, today's games have been very, very high quality. Um, um, very high quality. Um, let's go on to the last game. This is Schwartz. Oh, this is a struggle bus. I see. So actually, struggle bus go is this three Q player and. Struggle Bus Go is not Jonathan Bus, but Gabe Schwartz. Ah, my fault for mixing you guys up. My fault. Okay, this is a true Struggle Bus Go of um, Twitch. <laughs> okay, um, Struggle Bus is a 3Q playing against a fellow 3Q. Okay, again, remember, guys, today the theme is to use thickness in the middle and later game to the fullest advantage or the fullest extent. Um, here white um, uh, plays a um, invasive move. However, um, right now it seems like white has a stronger shape. So something like there or here or encroach on this corner is more urgent than the top. Um, and that's because after white plays the top, um, you're not threatening the uh, corner here, and you're not going to threaten um, this corner on the right-hand side. So um, this kind of a move is um, lacking in terms of um, pressure against the opponent, whereas um, this move was very good in terms of pressure against the opponent, this one. So uh, make sure you uh, follow, follow up with it and, um, uh, you know, uh, this kind of a move would be tremendously high pressure against the opponent. Uh, so in the game black played here, of course, you could also be playing a um, squeezing move. In this case, white was going to leave this position and keep expanding. <clears throat> Both seems OK. Um, this is a good move. This is um, strengthening ourselves in the process of attacking. This kind of a move is almost always going to be OK uh, or good. Um, here uh, we can um, capture this one stone and protect our shape. Probably more preferred than uh, this not capturing the stone and protecting the shape. Uh, this press is another good one. It makes um, this next um, um, attachment possible because um, after you attach, you can also capture a corner uh, like this. So the attach is basically sente. And of course, um, it, because you pressed, the, uh, the uh, uh, capturing the stone is not possible because of the double Atari. This will be good for white. Um, so, so it makes this um, very big and almost for sure to be sente. And here, white can. Um, takes a sente and attacks the two stones, or do whatever you want. Um, this, um, this seems to be um, a superior way to, um, to play than the, than the relatively passive um, fixing shape of the game. OK, uh, place here. OK, uh, this, is, this is some high level stuff. So black doesn't finish, uh, continue in this local area, place here. So white punishes, but uh, because this stone is not very light and white is very strong here, black tanukis again and takes the fight into the corner where uh, where white is relatively weak. 
this is very advanced and good and uh, very nice uh, strategic thinking here. Um, so now white is likely gonna defend the corner somehow. And this is a good way. Okay. Um, so now uh, this kind of a move um, 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 threatening the cut. Um, this kind of a move should not be missed. This, you know, um, decreases white's territory, increases black's territory, um, increases black's eye shape, and uh, decreases white's eye shape. All incentives, so don't never miss a chance to play this kind of a sente move. Um, okay, in the game, black jumps. And uh, now is still a very good time to, to play that. Um, um, expand the eye space. Instead, we're running out as black, um, which is um, well. If you don't, if you don't live, then you have to run out. So okay. Um, I see here. Um, White probably wants to push out, and because the cut doesn't have to be defended, so don't defend the cut. Uh, yeah, just imagine uh, if White played this move originally, right? Um, it would be all the same except the uh, the N3 stone, this stone would be gone. And uh, that stone being anywhere else on the board seems seems to be better than, than there, so um, yeah. Okay, um, this shape is... Um, uh, kind of, uh, you know, black doesn't have eye space. Now white jumps out. Um, black's left hand side is also weak. Um, so uh, yeah, remember, um, remember this kind of a move um, where you're making yourself stronger and making your opponent weaker. Um, in sente, uh, don't miss those kinds of moves. Okay. Um, so here, um. Um, this is a place where um, we can see, uh, do some evaluations, and our theme of today is using thickness in the middle to late game, right? Um, so here, uh, white is very strong over here on the left upper side. White is very strong in this corner. White is very strong on the lower side. So white, um, white has strength to uh, white's advantage. Black, not alive here, not alive here. So um, right now, for uh, in Black's perspective, um, something like this, where you are t just making yourself totally alive, is a very attractive thing to do. Um, because um, um, now you're strong, your opponent's strong, there's just no more play to be had here um, until the end game. It's like, see you, uh, see you in the end game. Here, right? Um, see you in the end game here, um, or maybe here. Um, 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 so, uh, whereas if black is moving out here, um, there's a lot more play to be had. Um, and so, if white takes some territory here, uh, destroys some ice space for black, black still has to run out. And notice the run out isn't going to surround any territory, and it's not going to threaten the opponent because strength, the white is strong on the top left and strong on the lower left. So um, here it makes much more sense to stay, stay put in place, take some territory, and um, make yourself alive somehow, rather than to uh, move out and, you know, uh, rather than moving out. Um, moving out um, would be much, much stronger play if it threatens your opponent in some way. Uh, but remember we said white is very strong of the surrounding areas, so, um, so there's no uh, threatening white. So um, yeah, so, so here it's much better to take the cash. Um, yeah, take the cash, don't take the Risk. Okay. Um, okay. And so um, once black runs out, see, um, um, 
very similar situation as before, except uh, black has less territory and white has more territory. Uh, white still has Sente on the upper side. And uh, running out like this, white gained a few extra moves on the in the middle here, which um, is detrimental to the middle black group. So here, um, black is losing control of the game in the sense that um, uh, you know, black has obligations taking care of the weaknesses, and black is not clearly ahead on territory yet. And so here, white plays very, very conservatively. Um, when you have um, strengths on your side, for example, white, like this move and this move, like uh, this move and this move, white isn't surrounding much territory. It could make much more sense. Um, to play on the right hand side where you're making use of the attack and then um, you know this destroys a lot of black's potential and um, here when black uh, honeys um, don't be afraid to expose a cut or two because remember your bottom is very much strong very very alive uh, so in the game white played very conservatively sort of uh, branching out um, from thickness. You want to branch out from a weak group where branching out is a way of taking care of your weak groups. Uh, you don't want to branch out from your strong group. That's just making a small extension from an already thriving and, um, group that, you know, we just don't need the extra stones there. So um, instead, you want your opponent to play here and for you to be taking um, taking the time and then playing somewhere else where the big points are. So uh, for white, um, um, try to try to avoid uh, branching out um, of very strong positions. Um, um, try to you uh, because that's almost always going to be uh, less efficient. Um, when you do branch out, make sure you're really attacking something. And uh, here, if you um, honey, that, that could be a stronger attack. So in the game, um, white played a very slow move, not surrounding territory. Black played a move that surrounds, you know, starting to surround the right hand side. Um, so um, here, white, um, you know, realizes and uh, starts invading the right hand side. So very good job for white here. Um, very good job here. Um, um, looks like white does understand what we're uh, talking about here so so very good very very good this is exactly what you want to do as white you're you're cashing in this um, attacking um the, you're cashing in this attack in the form of taking um, out a big chunk of territory on the right hand side so now the game again swings back into um more or less um um balanced position uh, where black took care of the weak groups but white also took a lot of territory on the right hand side um, okay so very good job and uh, here um, again this is the same idea using use your thickness near the in the middle at the end game um, use your thickness in the middle and end game here white is very strong over here so um, Tanuki here plays somewhere else that is very big. When black plays here, you ignore him again. Uh, this cut isn't possible, so um, when black plays here, maybe you, <laughs> you ignore him again. When he captures here, you ignore him again. That's how you use thickness. You use thickness to say, um, to say, um, um, you don't threaten me, you don't scare me, um, I will go take my, I will go eat my sandwiches over there um, and turn my back to you because my back is so strong. Here, free, feel free to punch me in the back. I like that very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm white in this game. I appreciate it. White? Ah, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, very good job here on the right hand side. Um, yeah, yeah. Cashing, really cashing in the the uh, thickness um yeah yeah um, so yeah yeah very very good um uh okay so so 
uh, just a couple more cases where we can use the strength uh, or relative strength to the uh, fullest extent that we can. And, uh, that's that's going to help us. Um, um, you know, that's that's going to help us um, get more efficient and um, leap ahead of the opponent in the in the race to surround points. Um, okay, I just get this one idea down. Um, Use your thickness to Tanuki and say, um, yeah, to Tanuki. Uh, like that one diagram was very um, was very instructive. Um, here, uh, White used the thickness, and um, uh, even um, you know, even if Black played four straight moves, White is still basically gonna is still basically um, um, not not threatened. So, okay, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So end game, um, um, relatively uh, good. Um, okay. Th this is a this is a quite a nice um, looking end game. Although uh, maybe um, maybe this is totally uh, just a regular move here is totally fine. Um, here is the. Um, uh, you're gonna white is gonna be alive no matter what so we don't have to um, worry so much about uh, yeah. but but anyway uh, all good um, okay <laughs> okay mm. and game wise it was relatively okay the um, just remember when it comes to big end game moves uh, large end games um, uh, thickness can really help you a lot by allowing you to tanuki. Um, here, um, um, this endgame is very big. It's a double um, sente, and for black to play here, black is attacking us, and so he's forcing white basically to defend, which is going to be very big. Um, that's, that's the endgame way to play. Um, you can also try to invade and attack this black position. That's also a very, very strong play um, as well. Uh, either way, um, this is a good opportunity for white to um, to, to uh, use thickness by um, use thickness by not using it at all, which is um, leaving it and then not doing anything. Use thickness by not doing anything with it including uh, not responding with it, which is the most important. Using, using, using uh, thickness by Tanuki is not something I'd heard, and I like it very much. Thank you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, and it's uh, it's going to be very, very helpful. Um, yeah, yeah. Good luck, guys. Um, thank you guys all for watching and tuning in. Um, uh, good luck, every player in the NAOL League. Um, on your progress and um, you know uh, ranking up on the ladder. Um, okay, yeah, thank you guys. In all our games, yes. <laughs>
uh, we're offering you guys a 50% uh, discount on the annual adult membership for the AGA. So if you guys are looking to uh, play in any uh, US uh, NA tournaments, um, you can uh, get your memberships um, while you uh, register for the tournaments uh, in the specific events, uh, or you can join online. Go to the usgo.org, the AGA website, click join the AGA, um, join now, uh, adult full membership, uh, go through, you know, put your names down and everything. And at the end, it will ask you to pay. Uh, this is $30 for the annual membership. And uh, here uh, you guys can use this coupon to get 50% off. ZChen24, just uh, type it in right here, have a coupon, enter the code, get 50% uh, off on your AGA membership.